1943, Bella Bartok wrote Concerto for Orchestra for the Boston Symphony, conducted by Kuzovitsky. In this piece, every section is treated as a soloist, and the trumpets are no exception. Each movement has a solo line for either one or more of the trumpets. These are some of my favorite solos for the second trumpet in the repertoire. In the first movement, there's an eerie trumpet chorale that should be played almost distant sounding. Be sure to play accurate 16th notes, not triplets. Some players like to stretch the first 16th of each grouping, but with the extra emphasis, keep true to the rhythm printed on the page. Know your harmonic value or chord tones to help with educated tuning decisions. The fugue or canon-like section of the first movement is exciting. Be careful not to play too loud too soon. The cap accents should be played like two down bows. Bom, bah, with a firm mercado articulation. The rest of the phrase should have a horizontal shape and connection. Practice this with subdivisions in the style of the music to keep good time. The second movement is the game of pairs. These games are passed from one section to the other. The trumpet duet is robotic in a way, play very square with short, precise staccatos, drastic dynamic changes, and a very focused or buzzy straight mute. I chose to use a drill well here. The chorale should contrast this mechanical sound and be dolce or sweet. Examine the harmony here for accurate intonation and explore different types of vibrato. The finale is a burst of speed and energy the second trumpet solo is like a dance-off starting at a hoedown. You jump in the middle of the strings and you start to dance. Play this with excitement in the articulation and sustain in the sound. The first trumpet solo is past the torch and is very difficult. The woodwind-like passage to the high D flats was actually written as a cue in the first trumpet part for the woodwinds, but was accidentally played and Bartok liked it. Or so I was told by Roger Boisin. This doesn't need to be played loudly but it should ring on top of the woodwinds. I like to use an E-flat trumpet for this excerpt when I play in the orchestra, but I play it here on C trumpet. Have fun and good luck. <laughs>